Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about One UI 6.0. So, One UI 6.0 is coming to more and more Samsung Galaxy smartphones. So, in this video, what I'm going to do is I am going to share top features that you need to know in relation to this fantastic software update. Now, the first thing I'm going to be talking about has to do with an enhanced camera feature. So, the feature has to do with the camera application. And when you tap on the settings, you have this brand new option known as automatic document and text scanning. So this option here has been here for a while. Scan documents and text, that's fine. But the new option is the auto scan option. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys some examples to demonstrate how well it works. So I have a couple documents here. I got this document here and I got this document. Let's do a scan on the first one. So I'm gonna go back to my camera, make sure this is enabled and auto scan is enabled as well. So go back out, all right? And then normally what you do is when you put a document on this side of the screen, you actually have to hold the document, hold the phone in your hand and also press the shutter button, which can be a little bit hard. Now with the automatic scanning, when you put the document in the viewfinder, it recognizes automatically and takes a photo by default, okay? That is amazing. Now, after you take the photo, you get this option right here, and look at how you can fine tune this. So look at the edges. I'm gonna tap over here, and, and you can see that plus somewhere on the white area. Do the same with this one, okay? Make sure it's in the white somewhere, and do the same with this one, and then do the same with this one. Okay, so let's make this perfect. There we go. Now, after you have done that, what you want to do is you want to save. Okay, once you save it, it goes to your gallery and look at what that document is going to look like. It's going to look like this. And I want you guys to notice it took out my finger from the frame automatically. Okay, that is amazing. So again, uh, if I go back to the camera, go to the settings scan documents and text you can see here it says remove unwanted objects these are ai features automatically takes a photo when it knows it's a document and also removes unwanted objects from the document so you can see it says here automatically remove fingers from the frame when scanning documents so that's great uh, i'm going to give you guys one more example you can do this with anything you can do this with a menu in a restaurant whatever so i'm going to grab this guy I'm going to go back a little bit. Again, it is going to do it automatically. It even instructs you to hold the camera still. Uh, it is sitting on a tripod, so that's not a problem. But let's just uh, do this a little bit like this. Okay. I want you guys to notice that at the edge here is my finger. Let me just do this as well. Fine tune this to make it perfect. Okay. I mean, you can do it better than this one. But anyway, I'm going to tap on save. And the document is going to get saved as a photo. I want you guys to tell me where my finger is. It's gone because it's been removed automatically by the AI engine. So, so fantastic feature. Let's move on. So let's move on and talk about the quick toggles panel. Quick toggles panel right here. Okay. You can see on the top, you've got the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. These are most used options. Then we have our customizable quick toggles area. Then we have our brightness slider and eye comfort shield and dark mode bundled into one rectangle. And then we have smart view and device control. Now, with this guy right over here, we have two phases. So the first phase is when you pull it down for the first time, you get the top toggle area. And then when you swipe it one more time, you get the full toggle area. And then you can also customize both of these guys you tap on edit and then you choose, do you want to customize the top part or the full part? So if I tap on top part, then I just change the six top toggles. So I can take something I don't need here, okay? For example, the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, I can take them off and just add as an example, flashlight and microphone access. Then I tap on done and now my top toggle is edited the way I want it. If I pull it down again, tap on edit, I am able to go and edit the full area. So this is the maximum area. Again, you just remove what you don't want, okay? And just drag and drop or tap on what you want to add. 
And once you do add them, you can also rearrange them, as you can see, to make it perfect to fine tune it. So that's that. Now, one more thing that's really cool is the quick settings instant access. So normally, when you pull down anywhere on the screen, it first takes you to the notifications and then it takes you to the toggle area, the new control center. But if I were to tap on edit and I tap on quick settings instant access, if I enable this, the top corner here is reserved for the full toggles only. So when I pull down over here, it just brings the full toggles and the control center. But if I pull from anywhere else, it brings the notifications panels and I have to do one more time to get the full view. Even over here, it's gonna give me notifications. But on the top corner, in the 10% of this area, it is gonna be my quick toggles, okay? Fantastic. The next feature has to do with the brand new music widget in the notifications panel and the lock screen, which is this beautiful thing right here. So basically, when you collapse it, it just looks like anything else, but when you expand it, it gives you this nice music player. And as I put the seeker to the front, you can see that wavy animation right there with all the play and pause and the like buttons available. Now this one, reflects in the lock screen as well. So when I go to the lock screen by double tapping this, you can see it is going to be right here. Also collapsible and expandable. This is the way I like it. Now when I tap on the clock, I also get access to my widgets. And again, the music player is gonna show up right here. It's gonna have the same animation and the same look. Now one of the great things about this widget is it actually uses the album art from whatever music you're playing. So if I go back to YouTube music here and just randomly pick up something else here, let's just pick this one. Now you're gonna see it is gonna have a different background, okay? But if I go back, uh, let's just pick this guy right here. Uh, it's gonna have a different background as you can see. So it's based on the album art of whatever is playing in the background. Fantastic. Let's move on. Another great feature is when you go to the camera application and when you go to the settings, we now have a brand new advanced intelligence options. So when you tap on the advanced intelligence options, you can choose between maximum, medium, and minimum for quality optimization. So if you wanna take a photo at maximum quality, you go with maximum. That might reduce the speed of the shutter. Now if you wanna balance it out so you get a fast shutter speed, but also some quality, you wanna to go to medium. Now, if you don't care about anything, you just go to minimum, you want the speed, you want that fast shutter, instant capture speed. It says take pictures as fast as possible by not optimizing pictures after they're taken. So this is gonna be great for moving subjects like your pet or maybe your kids are running around, you wanna take quick shots without blurring. This is gonna give you that fast shutter speed, which is gonna be amazing, known as quality optimization under advanced intelligence options. Now one more feature I like in the camera is this brand new option. It says swipe up and down to switch cameras. So look at this. You can enable this feature and basically here when I swipe up and down it changes the camera. You can see, okay? But some people don't like this feature. I don't like this feature to be honest. You can turn it off. So now when you swipe it's not gonna flip the camera by mistake. And we're gonna look at some more details in another video about all the changes, but these are the top features I'm gonna talk about in this video. So another great thing, when you go to the gallery option, okay, when, when I go to gallery, not the option, when I go into the gallery, let me pull up a photo right here. So now, when I tap on edit, my photo editor has been restyled. So at the bottom here, I'm gonna have these four circles, and I can tap on it, and that's gonna give me all the cool features at a tap. So I've got my object eraser function, which is right here, my lasso tool, my spot color, my color mix, and even my style option, which is one of my favorites. It allows you to style photos and make them look really, really amazing. So these features are now right here instead of being hidden somewhere else in the previous version. So that's fantastic. We also have a brand new weather app. So if I go to my weather application, all right, uh, if I launch weather, you can see one thing that's different is 
on the top here it looks the same but as you scroll down it no longer turns white it remains blue and as you scroll down a little bit more you can see right here we have at a snapshot at a glance all the important information air quality index uv index wind speed pressure sunrise sunset moonset moonrise and all the other stuff right here available at a glance there could be some useful information based on where you live and your lifestyle so great update to the weather application now going back into the lock screen actually editing the lock screen there's something new so you can do it two ways one you can pinch the screen tap on wallpaper and style and go to lock screen and now you can edit this now initially we had the ability to change the fonts and all that stuff and the size now you have the option to move this around okay and look at this as i move it around my notifications at the bottom also get centered or if i put it over here they get right justified if i have them here they get left justified all right so the notifications and the clock can now move around as well as resizing that was available previously this is just going to give you additional levels of customization for your lock screen there's also a brand new menu if i go to my settings okay and if i scroll down to security and privacy we do have a brand new option here known as auto blocker that gives you additional security features on top of what we already have specifically options like being able to block usb cable commands so somebody can connect the usb cable that is malicious or connect your phone to a computer with usb and run commands on your phone to mess it up but with this option enabled that is not going to be possible even when the phone is locked now one more thing in the notifications you can see that when i bring up my notifications i have these icons right here these icons except for some toggles do match the actual icon of the of that application so if i go here for example to samsung health application health application right here you can see it matches the icon in the panel and also notice that how health no longer says samsung health okay or themes no longer say galaxy themes or even when you go to the store it doesn't say galaxy store anymore they have actually truncated some excess parts words made them more compact and the final thing I'm going to be talking about in this video, as far as the top features are concerned, is the brand new camera widget that is amazing. Pinch the screen, tap on widgets, and then scroll down and go into camera, okay? This is a brand new customizable camera widget. You can have as many as you want on the screen. Let me dump one and show you what's going on here. So first you can give it a title. So let me just say selfie selfie i'm gonna tap on save and then you can go to starting mode okay you can pick the rear or the front camera we said selfie so i'm going to use the front camera and i'm going to use portrait orientation then i'm going to go back okay and then save pictures to anywhere you want and then the widget background can be changed so i can tap here and select an image like this one to be the background for the actual widget i'm going to tap on save and that's what i have now when i tap on this it launches portray front camera mode okay and you can like i said have as many as you, of these as you want you can even dedicate a whole page to all these various widgets absolutely fantastic and those are some of the top features for one ui 6.0 if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. All right, guys, have a fantastic day.